Alright, well I'm still with the uh, early Jacks action figures. Uh, here is a smaller collection of some of the sort of, uh, I don't know, kind of a spin-off series I'd, I'd class this as. This is like the Stomp figures. Again, with the accessories, you know, I've got them somewhere, I've put on the bits I can find. Um, they were, uh, as figures, they just, they weren't as good as the... Uh, <clears throat> It's the bone crunching ones that were like a harder plastic and they were pretty much just every single figure was the same body that the different heads stuck on and the body itself is quite like a very skinny body so they kind of didn't look that great i mean they don't look too bad when they're fully kind of decked out in their their clobber and stuff and they came with like silly weapons like sickles and uh chainsaws and things like that so i suppose kind of like uh you know, playable wise, they were quite interesting, but for wrestling, they weren't that good. Uh, here is a couple of the the Bendems, which came out a bit like the the Flexums, where you can kind of bend them a bit and they'll stay in the position a bit. And these were the mini brawlery things, which I suppose are rumblers of the day. Uh, they kind of came, I believe, packed in a couple like say two or four packs but you also got them with like a ring which had like the inferno ring or a, a buried alive match kind of thing which was, i don't have any of the rings unfortunately but they, they did they were quite little cute sets uh pretty collectible i suppose now i wouldn't mind getting them and they also did a similar thing with these which was the monsters ring monsters or something which again was just like shrunken versions of, of superstars but again, this is just me showing you what I've got uh, with a little bit of knowledge of them. Uh, so there you go. Keep tuned and I'll show you some more.